RV holding tanks are one of the biggest issues that all RVers talk about, and problems with sensors are very common. Either they read incorrectly or maybe they don't read at all. We're here in the Lake Havasu City, Arizona area today to get our tanks looked at to solve the problem we've been having with our sensors. We're gonna tell you about something called Struvite that you probably never heard of before, but as an RVer, you should know about. I'm here with Mike Rowe of HydroClean Arizona, who specializes in cleaning out holding tanks that have problems like we're experiencing. Thanks so much for joining us here, Mike, to take care of our RV. My pleasure. I have a big question for you about this. The problem we're seeing, which is that our sensors aren't reading accurately, is that something you see a lot? That's actually the, the call I get the most, is the sensor, sensor issues. Mike, we've heard about this thing called struvite that can build up in the tank. What exactly is that? Well, struvite is a, is a mineral. It's a, it's a crystal that, that actually starts to layer up that, that's left behind inside the holding tanks, and it'll actually sheet up and, and uh, coat the inside of the tanks, affecting the sensors. Uh, even the uh, water treatment plants have to deal with struvite on a regular basis. That's one, that's one of the biggest enemies that they're dealing with full time. So the same thing can happen in your holding tanks. And when that does do that, it, it gives you falsing of your sensors. They'll get locked into one mode and you'll think that the tanks are, are, are full and they're not. We started Googling why we might be having problems. And when we heard of Struvite, we flushed our tank out like we normally do. And we put a borescope down the toilet to take a look. And we actually saw it on the walls of the tank and we assume that because that buildup was there, that was probably what was causing our sensor problems. That's correct. A lot of times it's not always just struvite. However, struvite is the main culprit. The problem with struvite is once it gets in there, unless you really have it, there's, there's a couple of products out there that actually can solve it, but the one main way to actually do it, and it's the, it's the number one way, and that is to deep clean it with a, it's, you're basically pressure washing the inside of the holding tanks. That's what we do. We have a special hydro jet nozzle and it works its way around the tank and it peels the layers of the struvite off the tanks and the sensors. One of our most popular videos is how we thoroughly clean our tanks and we really run it clean every time we flush. We have a clear sewer elbow that we use and we're pretty diligent about it and we're the original owners of this RV. But we've now owned this for almost 16 years and we've never had the tank cleaned. Is, is that like too long? That, that is too long and you, time has caught up to you. That's the problem. It's not anything you've been doing wrong, because actually if, if you've gone this far and not really had this problem kick up and really uh, give you problems, then I think you've been doing a really good job of keeping your tanks very, very clean. So even though we don't have interior sensors, ours are the exterior kind on the tank, that buildup of struvite on the other side is what prevents them from correctly sensing the level. That's correct. It's falsing the sensors. It's making it think that the density has changed on the inside of the, of the wall of the tank, and that's what's creating a falsing at the panel for it to think that the tank, the, the liquid level is high. We've been full-timing all this time. We've been full-time nearly 18 years, almost 16 in this rig. And what about if somebody is going out on weekends, you know, half a dozen times a year, is it gonna take a lot longer for there to be an issue? It is, but it, the, 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 the easy answer for that is, is it depends on how you store your tank away. If you don't do a really good flush and do a, go through a storage process, um, you, could, you could essentially have a struvite collect at the bottom of the tank. Now, how about the gray tank? What's the story with that? Since there isn't the same exact organic matter in that. Well, the gray tanks can have a problem of their own, especially if you have multiple gray tanks. And one of the problems that I, I get all the time is I get, uh, I get calls where, where um, we have an odor problem in our RV mic, and they're thinking it's the black tank. It's not the black tank. I ask them, what's the smell? It, is it a sulfurous rotten egg smell? Yeah, that's it. It's kind of like that. That's not your black tank. That's your gray tank talking to you. Well, as somebody who boondocks a lot, which we do, I can tell you we know that gray water absolutely stinks. It's sometimes the dirtier tank of, of the two tanks. Now I'm really nervous about what we're going to see coming through that clear elbow when you clean our tanks. <laughs> you, you, well, 
we're going to see it and and we are diligent but just to be clear again this isn't something that happens because you're doing something wrong necessarily it's a function of using the tanks and the fact that we've never had them cleaned in nearly 16 years that's correct so that's exactly. i'm gonna mea culpa in advance and say a lot of stuff's gonna come out of there it's not our fault just remember one thing this is what i tell all of my customers water is your friend with the holding tanks Oh, I think our gray tank is going to be bad. I'm, I'm just saying that right now. So, Mike, we're going to have you pull in, and we're going to watch while you do your thing and, and power wash and see what happens in the inside of our tank. I'm a little frightened, but I'm, I'm brave. I'm going to do this and watch and let everybody see it, and uh, we'll uh, see how it goes. didn't take long. Start to see the screw bike chunks coming out. Did you see the chunks of the sheets? I didn't think it was going to happen that fast. Disgusting. Oh my god, I'm embarrassed. And you could see we were running clear water before you started. Yep. What you normally see? Uh, usually worse. Really? Oh yeah. Okay. And you can see the sheets of struvite coming out. So this is my guide. Oh, I see. And I know that the nozzle is pulling toward those lines. I get to the back and I can turn it and it'll make a turn to the back wall and then I can work my way back. Generally, I try to pass through the tank three or four times, at least four times, generally, uh, just to make sure I get 100% coverage on the clean. There's a lot of surface to work with in there.
So, Mike, you got the black tank done, and before you do the gray, I got to ask you, how bad was it? Well, you weren't too bad. I, for the most part, I see a lot of folks that are really in bad shape, and they call me basically because their their tanks are more sludged up than anything, and that's the big problem. Yours wasn't. That wasn't the case with you, but it, it definitely needed a deep clean. Well, it, it, looked, it was it was time. It looked bad to me. I think you're just being nice. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks. Let's see what happens in the gray. <laughs> You can see, look, we got some struvite. Oh. So Mike, I saw that the uh, black tank had quite a bit of debris in it. How did that look after almost 16 years? Well, actually, it didn't look real bad. Uh, I've seen that after just three or four or five years in a lot of holding tanks. However, yours was definitely due. Um, the struvite was built up in there, but not on the on the scale that I've seen in the past with other RVs. And how about the gray tank? Uh, the gray tank wasn't in too bad a shape. You've been doing a really good job, and uh, I recommend whatever you're doing, keep doing it. That's it, what it, I would... <laughs> we got a little bit of sludge out of there, but it was it was so minute it wasn't even a, a, a it, it wouldn't have caused you an odor inside, an odor problem inside the RV. I'm pleasantly surprised. Thanks so much.